Howdy, howdy folks, it is Diecast Buffet here again, back with some more NASCAR Thunder 2003. Today, we're, we're going to be going to the Dodge Save Mart 350. It's the start of a three-race wildcard stretch for the NASCAR Winston Cup season in 2006. Of course, Sterling Marlin and Dale Jr. are your back-to-back -back winners at Pocono in Michigan. But I tell you what, man, we're going left and right turn racing up at Sonoma, California. That's going to be a lot of fun. After that, we're going to Daytona on a Thursday for the Florida 500k, which is a road course. So we're going to have back-to-back -back road course races, and then we're going to cap off the weekend with the 4th of July Pepsi 400 at Daytona underneath the lights. Updated point standings. Big oof for Burton. We're literally tied with Rusty Wallace uh, for 8th place. Um, 301 points behind. Not good. And I think it's time to start eliminating some drivers. I think if you want to be championship eligible you're gonna have to be within 700 so unfortunately johnny benson you're eliminated from the 2006 winston cup championship so we really gotta pick up our points it's just it's so hard to gain points on a cat who finishes top five every race i mean look at this we made 15 starts in 2006 12 of them he was in the top 10 and nine of them he was in the top five i mean an average finish of a 7.1 no doubt about it jeff gordon is He's zooming to another championship. Uh, we're going road course racing. Let's run the 2001 paint scheme. And without further ado, let's go to California. Alrighty, folks. So we qualified 41st. Yeah, I, I. so the first lap was crap, right? The second lap, we hit the wall. Okay, I hit the wall. It was pretty heavy contact. Right there, we're showing on, on the screen. We hit the wall there. So uh, the second lap is pretty much abandoned. But the first one, we... we car was really tight. You kind of have to go around the track very gingerly to know what your car's limits are. But yeah, um, not a good qualifying effort. It's going to be a tough day here at the Dodge St. Mark 350. So without further ado, let's go ahead and sit it down track side here at Infineon Raceway. NASCAR Winston Cup Racing is in the Sonoma Valley today. MRN is live with flag-to-flag -flag coverage of today's Dodge Save Mart 350 from the Infineon Raceway. This is a track where the drivers will have to stay focused all race long. Well, these guys only run on road courses twice a year, which means they don't spend much time tuning for them. There is a good chance we'll see a new face in victory lane at the end of this one. Steve Park really needs a good finish in this race. He's got a long way to go on the points list. Well, there's always going to be someone who has to fill in the bottom of the points list. Of course, none of these guys want to ever see their name there. Sometimes it's just not your season to shine. Jeff Burton is in the top five in points so far this season. Oh, yeah, and all these guys in the top five are fighting hard week in and week out to gain as many points as possible. It's harder to pick up spots once you're into the top five. Engines are fired here at Sonoma. It's going to be Mark Martin alongside the one well, the purple Ford right there. Rookie. I don't even know if he's a rookie, to be honest with you. He's probably not. Anyways, we're back here at Sonoma. We go back here in the fall. Yeah, we have two races here on this playthrough. Uh, it's it's exciting. We go back here later this year. So I was going to have it like a Road America or a Mid-Ohio or something like that. But they don't have one. So I was like, look, let's just do two races at Sonoma. I love this track, right? This is an old configuration without the boom or whatever they freaking call it. The carousel. Anyways, we're going to be pretty much starting dead last. Um, this is going to be a very tough feet you got 11 laps to do it the caution pretty much guarantees you don't have to pit for fuel and ironically enough the 22 cars right behind us so tough day for the burtons in qualifying oh boy they're gonna slow up big time here slow up big time a little bit of a bump and go here oh yeah they slowed up big time don't want to cook the engine trying to get uphill come on car come on there we go sometimes if you mat the gas you're trying to get from like 20 miles per hour to like 50 it could um, overheat the engine because the way these cars are geared they're geared to be they're, they're geared to accelerate extremely quick right which means the tires are going to be slipping if it's not in motion and what that's going to happen it means you're going to have a low gear high rpms that's going to eat up that engine so we're dead last right now 
we're gonna have to be aggressive. We're 301 points behind with two races, this race and uh, we're actually no, the Pepsi 400 generally is the halfway point, so we got this one and then we have uh, the Daytona Road Course before we are at the official halfway point, so it's time to start getting aggressive guys, points racing, got to, there we go, huge gain right there, we can just get through the corner without contact, there we go, perfect, that actually worked, so now we're up to 35th, so we gained about what, six positions, seven positions there, that's, that's very good. Now we're just going to keep continuing to pass race cars on the track. I love road course racing, man. I love road course racing. This is my favorite portion of the schedule because you got three races, three opportunities for a wild card winner. Sonoma, Daytona Road Course, and the Daytona Super Speedway Oval. I mean, anyone can win these races, right? And it's an opportunity for upsets. We've seen when um, the seven car, Casey Atwood, won at the Daytona Road Course. And in the next season, guess what? Jamie McMurray won at the, the Daytona Road Course in that same number seven car. That's McMurray in the seven. That's no longer Casey Atwood, right? I've seen Jimmy Johnson win at the Daytona Road, Daytona Road Course with pitch strategy, you know? You see different drivers win these races because these are wild card events, and it really does set the tone for the halfway point of the season, you know? It gives the teams that generally don't win a lot of opportunity, like Kevin Harvick. And this playthrough, he hasn't won much, but at the Texas Road Course, which is the Texas Roval, he won it last season, and it gave him a long-awaited Winston Cup win. I mean, it's been a while since he's won a Winston Cup event, and that gave him an opportunity to do so. Something different than the norm, you know? Where the, the, the run of the mill drivers is Jay McMurray and I are going to make a little contact there, unfortunately. Somehow, some way, we've moved up to 33rd, but, you know, the, the Sterling Marlins, the Mark Martins, the Dale Jarrett's, the Jeff Gordons of the Winston Cup Circus. Yeah, I say circus. Um, <laughs> these cats, they generally win every week. Sorry, Harvick. But when you go to tracks like this, it gives an opportunity. It equalizes the playing field. You know, some drivers prefer road courses over ovals and vice versa. You know, it kind of gives a good blend of competition. Top five update, Mark Martin, Terry Labonte, Todd Sullivan, Jeff Purvis, and Elliot Sadler. I mean, who could forget that amazing run that the 36 car had a couple uh, races, probably about a month and a half ago. I mean, I'll tell you what, that 36 car, I think he's poised to win a Winston Cup event. I mean, he almost won Richmond, guys. I mean, he literally almost won Richmond. Don't be surprised that cat wins a Winston Cup race this season in the 36 Pontiac. Oh, I don't want to be on this side of the fence. I want to be on the right side here because that's where they got that hairpin. They're going to they're gonna break hard here. And that's when you really want to outbreak them. This is the best place to pass at Sonoma. And they're already pitting, guys. They are already pitting. And, you know, when you pit at Infineon, it's such an open book. Because you have people who pit at the earliest opportunity, which is right now. And then you're going to have people who are going to pit at the last opportunity, with maybe two or three laps to go. It's really an open book. You can try either way. And if a caution comes out, it's going to burn half the field no matter what. So... Our car's fast right now. I'm not worried about tires at all. Damage is pretty minimal on the car, which is really good for a road course so far. But how are we going to do on fuel? Because we're going to have to make at least a green flag pit stop for petrol. So we, we could just say, let's just pit for, uh, for fuel only. I'm probably going to try to pit with the leaders, to be honest with you, so we can keep a tempo. Because I feel like we have the pace to run with the race leaders, right? I mean, we're passing cars, you know, we're, we're not going backwards, we're going forward, so it's 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 doing something, right? Trying to navigate the S's here, very difficult passing zone, you know, that's generally a point of the track where you kind of let everyone just, you know, mind their P's and Q's, so to speak. Ooh, there we go, a little bit of an overtake. Oh, he's going to try to go to the inside here, Bill Elliott is. I'm going to try to block him there, there we go, 21st place. Very, uh, very slow through the hairpin. You can hear some fenders banging back there. On the outside of Michael Washer. They like to wash up a little bit off that corner exit. Lap 5 out of 11. Just a lap shy of halfway today. And again, we're going to be coming back here this fall for some more Sonoma NASCAR racing. Uh, this is a very good track for us. It really is. Top 5 update. Martin, Labonte, Sullivan. Purvis and Elliott Sadler. You know, Elliott Sadler has not made much noise in this Winston Cup season. 
it would be a big day for the Wood Brothers if he was able to find victory liner, I'm gonna tell you that. Michael Waltrip looking underneath Robbie Gordon here. Ooh, side by side. Ooh, he's gonna give everything he's got. Michael Waltrip's poised to take the position away from the road course, well, I would say ringer almost, Robbie Gordon. Ooh, a little bit of the dirt there. Probably gonna have to let the 31 have that spot until we get to the hairpin because the S's are so difficult to pass. Like, it, it's, it's practically impossible to pass through the S's without making contact because at some point, I mean, see it right here. This is gonna be very difficult to do because you have to choke up so much here. You, it's almost impossible like that to pass without making contact. Oh, 31 still there. Now break the 15 there, giving some room, trying to show some mutual respect. We're up to 19th, but half the field, I or almost half the field at least, is pitted. Ooh, 63 car. Oh, big run for Mikey. Will we see a caution today? I don't think so. We're halfway. We're going to check on the leaders again to see if anyone pitted. I want to pit with your race leader. And that, of course, is Mark Martin, a teammate. Possibly some Roush team orders here. I want to pit with him. I think that's going to give us our best shot to win today at the road course. You know, going for our fourth win of the season. And um, just trying to get points, man. It, it's been it's been up and down, you know. We have three wins, but we're 300 points out. Got to minimize the mistakes and capitalize on others. There we go. Two cars in one corner. Now we're gaining on your Coke 600 champion, Ricky Rudd, who honestly hasn't done much. You know, he won at Texas last season. And then, of course, he wins the 600, so a pair of one-and-a-half-mile wins. Oh, he's going to come up to our lane there. Oh, I guess he didn't know we were <laughs> we were there just yet. Oh, sorry, bud. Sorry. I didn't mean to hit him there. The car got really tight. Um, do we pit now? No, let's not pit yet. Oh, dive in the corner pretty deep there, unfortunately. Oh, got a Pontiac there. Gordon is in. Jarrett is in. Uh, we probably should have pitted there, to be honest with you. Uh, looks like uh, Scott Wimmer's in as well. Uh, Pontiac's trying to dig on the bottom here. We're going to have to choke up the throttle. We're going to have the preferred lane if we can hold it. Not going to be able to. We're going to have to fight back for it. Tough, tough corner uphill. Very flat as the hill kind of evens out. Then you go back downhill. Difficult left-hander with a blind right-hander hill right here. You can't see downhill. We're up to 10th. We need to pit this time. The perfect scenario would be a caution. Because if we have a caution, we don't have to pit at all. Right? And uh, we could pretty much just, you know, just putt-putt to the finish. But unfortunately, we're going to have to pit. I mean, our tires are practically flawed, though, honestly. So, I I'm curious what the AI is doing. Are they taking a gas and go? Are they going, you know, all out? I don't really know, to be honest with you. But I'm going to try and do everything I can. I'm thinking we take two and just enough gas to get to, get to the end here, guys. Trying a strategy call here to see. Oh, I got to pay here, guys. Okay, let's get it load up. Let's try a two-tire call if we can. Um, I'm going to pause it here. So let's see, no damage repair. Um, I'm just going to take, let's see, let's take 1.5. Uh, let's see, left side. Let's just do left side tires and let's just call it that. Let's see if this will give us an opportunity to win this race. I mean, I hope. <laughs> I hope. If not, well, then we're going to be screwed, but you got to do what you got to do, you know. Got to be willing to try something. There goes Harvick. I mean, the field's pretty spread out right now. So it's going to be interesting to see how this one plays out. Martin Martin's in 14th. He was your race leader when he pitted, I believe. Come on, team. Come on. We just need a quick 9.6. Come on. There we go. Oh, come on, guys. 11.9 second pit stop. Not what we needed. There goes Gordon and company, but did we gain anything from that, guys? I don't think so. We pitted from 10th place. We're 28th. So that tells me, yeah, obviously a bunch of cars pitted, and that's why we got to 10th place, but uh, we were probably a good second and a half too long of that pit stop there. That's not good by the Roush guys. Thank God we didn't take four, because we would have been there until 17 seconds. Thank God we only took two. 
Because that would have been that would have been a crapshoot, my dude. It probably should have loosened up the race car as well to, to help it navigate with the older tires. But I, I have no clue who's gonna win this race, guys. I really don't. Um, I'm just trying to hold on to this thing right now. The car's just not not handling like I need to. I need to drive a little bit better. Uh, your update right now, it's Labonte, Kinsif, Martin Marlin, and Sadler. So, um, it'll be interesting to see how this one plays out, folks. Some cats still have not pitted, I don't think. Uh, the field's pretty spread out where we're at. Oh, that's a terrible corner for us. We're just going to give up Michael Waltrip's spot, unfortunately, there. 29th. Come on, guys. We've got to get better than this. Bunch of cars on pit road. Maybe we can gain some spots back here. Okay, I like that. A 19th. That's much better. I'll take that. Two to go. At Infineon. Or is it three to go? Do they count? Oh, sorry, Mikey. Do they count the lap you're currently running on? Or do they just say, oh, you got two laps to go. You have lap 10 and lap 11. I, 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 I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know on that. There's Robbie Gordon there. Top 20 is much better than we qualified today. But dang it, man. I'm going to run better than this. And unfortunately, where we're at right now, the cars are spread out. If we can just get them bunched up, we can get some spots. It's just hard to run people down when they're so spread out. You know, you can only pick one car at a time. And, um, well, the leader's pretty much a lap away from the white flag. That's going to do it. A caution will end the race under yellow. And all you can do is just try to overdrive the corners a little bit extra. And hope to God your car's got enough wedge to turn. Or, or honestly, enough track bar, you know, as little wedge as possible. Can we get Michael Waltrip here? I mean, we got officially two left. Come on. Gain a little bit there. Car's a little tight, though. That right front's not doing us any justice. I mean, thank God we did not take right side tires. We would have been there for till 12 seconds, probably. And thank God we did not take four because we would have been there until probably 16 or even 17 seconds possibly. So um, I'm glad we took two and we did. Kenseth is eating us up behind. He's got fresher tires. We got a small gaggle of cars over here we're gaining on. There's Michael Waltrip in the 15. We're getting close. So perhaps we can gain a few more spots before the end of today's action here in Wine Country, California. White flag's about to be waving. Uh, for your race leader, and we'll get an update on that as we get out of the freaking S's. The car will not turn here too well. Oh, boy. Let's see if we can try to get underneath. Oh, boy. Come on. Come on. There we go. Let's get an update. It's going to be Mark Martin out front right now. I think he's on the island of his own. He may have just took two tires or no tires. I have no clue, but I tell you what. He's out, and he is fast. Beating and banging behind us. <clears throat> Coming up to the final lap today. Ooh, close call there with the 46. I think we can get top 15 here. Let's see, last lap today. I mean, the leader's on an island of his own. Let's see if we can try to get around this 46 car here. Ooh, there we go, got the nose in. Come on, come on, come on, if we can just survive this left hand. Oh, we got a Stanley Steamer over here. Uh-oh, uh-oh, this could slow things up. That Stanley Steamer, well, tough luck. Jeff Purvis, I think. I think it's purse. I don't know. Because it might have been the 136 car, because I think half of it was white. If the, half the car is white, it's the 136. So if that's the case, then that's not Jeff Purvis. That's someone else. I don't know yet. Both of those cars are very similar. One of them has half of the Vaveline scheme for Johnny Benson and half of the uh, original Ken Schrader 36 car. And the other one's obviously just the 36. Huge draw on the 30 car here. It's final lap. All things go. Can we get around Jeff Gordon here? Come on. Let's see if we can try to outbreak him here. Oh! Sailed in there way too hot. Rut rope. But at least we can try to get that final position. No, Gordon, no. I want that final spot. Hey, man, that's extra three points we gain on our points later, man. I had to do it. I believe Mark Martin just won this race. Mark Martin by 14 seconds. 
uh, easily some good strategy. He's going to win the Dodge Save Mart 350 here in the summer of 06. Welp, after some beating and banging racing, uh, cats like Terry Labonte, Scott Wimmer, Jimmy Spencer, and Todd Sullivan are going to be going into the top five today. So an incredible day of racing left and right-hand turns. Well, guess what? It's not over, folks. We're going to the Daytona Road Course next episode. Martin dominated. I mean, he started second. He finished first. He led eight laps today. Incredible day for him. Max points day easily. We didn't lead anything, unfortunately. We started practically dead last. Um, what a tough day, but hey, we came on with 127 points. We gained three points on Jeff Gordon, man. Roughed him up at the end was worth three points. I'll take it. Uh, so maybe we're only 298 points behind for the race or the championship points lead. Here's the rest of the running order here. Some uh, some tough luck for Kevin Harvick. Biffle Jr., another bad run. That's going to kill him in the points. Uh, Newman, tough run. I mean, they just did not have a good day. He started 37th, finished 37th. Ward Burton, another tough day. And it was Jeff Purvis uh, with the engine failure, it looks like. Uh, so that's unfortunate for the 36 car. Todd Bodine, tough luck. And Steve Park, man, more bad luck for DEI. Anyways, folks, thank you all so much for watching the video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Upload these every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Diecast Buffet. So go ahead and hit that notification bell so you never miss any of my new episodes. With all that being said, folks, hope you're having an amazing day out there. Diecast Buffet, signing off.